Hey guys, um, I'm gonna do, I, I figured I'm, I'd do a, a quick sort of lesson on how I learned um, three different techniques to playing the same song. Uh, the song I'm gonna, I'm gonna use is Cripple Creek, which is a song that a ton of people know. Um, I learned this song originally from Jim Panky. He has a YouTube channel, you can look him up. Uh, he's a bluegrass player and he does a he does a pretty good lesson, a very good breakdown of how to play Cripple Creek um, playing overhand. I'm, I mostly play overhand or claw hammer style, and um, his video was one of the first ones I learned to play an actual overhand claw hammer style song from. Um, and yeah, it was the first song I learned. I'd had a banjo for a couple weeks, maybe, if that, I think maybe a week. And uh, I was working third shifts, so I had a lot of time on my hands on weekends. So anyway, <clears throat> to get down to it, um, if you want to learn that song in overhand, claw hammer style, go to Jim Panky's video. He does a very good in-depth version of it. I'll do a quick run-through of it, <clears throat> um, but I'm, I'm not going to go as in-depth as he did. And I'll also mention that a big part of me learning these songs in three, uh, three different techniques, or even more, is uh, from watching, uh, mostly from watching Clifton Hicks. And, you know, a lot of the people that he recommends even, you know, watching his mentor, uh, George Gibson, who's a, you know, was a big part of his learning up. He's been a big part of, of my learning uh, the banjo. And my appreciation for old banjos, even and this is an old uh, 1890s Fairbanks electric that I absolutely love playing. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it here. So <clears throat> I'll play this in overhand first, or claw hammer. Um, I'll just play through it real quick. first the a and the b part of of cripple creek um, as we know i'm going to go to the basics here claw hammer is you're hitting you're striking down with the back of that fingernail i don't know if you do middle finger or index i do index finger so it's and then you're stroking and then you're plucking that fifth string now uh to play this song i'll just go through it real quick it's the the a part is you're um, starting on the first string, second fret. You're gonna slide up to the first string of the fifth fret. Um, then you're gonna go into this C shape, which is first string, second fret, second string, first fret, and you're gonna do a drop thumb. Um, <clears throat> and most of this is claw hammer. And then uh, it's the second part of that first part is third string at the second fret, slide into the third string at the fourth fret, and then doing a hammer on and a pull off on the fourth string at the second fret. So this is the first half of it. I messed that up. I'm gonna mess up a lot. I'm not a great player. The B part is basically that second half of the first part in repeat. And I'll just play through it real quick. So that's just third string at the second and the fourth fret doing the slides and the pull offs and the hammer ons on the fourth string here. So it's. through the whole thing real quick and then we'll be kind of done with the overhand Uh, let me 
bring it up close here so I can you can sort of see the fretting of this of this song. I'll start over. two-finger uh, watching Clifton Hicks, as I've mentioned before, um, and I learned to play Darling Cora. It was the first song I did two-finger. But to learn two-finger, that's index lead, or compare it to overhand real quick. Overhand is, you know, strike, stroke, fifth string. In first, in, in two finger, you're planting that hand on the head and you're going, that's your pluck, that's like your strike. But instead of stroking, you're gonna go. This kind of takes the place of a, of a, of a stroke. string you can do it here yeah i'm not great at two at, at um two finger but anyway now i'm going to show you sort of how i play cripple creek and two finger you can actually hit multiple strings so uh, that is the basics for two finger and I'll I'll come play it up close real quick the string there, sorry. It's probably the closest thing to claw hammer overhand where you're going to 
aim at that melody string with that pointer finger, with that index finger. Um, but instead of striking with the back of your fingernail, you're gonna up pick that string. And then you're gonna do that just like you, very similar to how you would with um, claw hammer, but you're gonna be planting your hand every time you finger and then you add that fifth string and I would when I was learning that and when I was learning two finger you know, in front of a TV or whatever, just doing those basic hand, just those basic hand exercises to get that muscle memory going in my brain before I could learn a song. Um, so with up picking, it was the same thing. Those old players from like the 20s, they played this way, this uh, type of up picking. And it was like Lee Sexton, I believe, plays this way a lot. Um, and they're incredible players. I think Roscoe Holcomb played that way. I'm not sure. I think Clarence actually played a little bit that way. I'm not so knowledgeable on a lot of the players yet. I'm still learning a lot of them. Um, and uh, anyway, yeah, I'll go into the song now with up picking. So, same chords up here, almost the same motions down here with claw hammer but here we go up real quick uh, sort of like I did the two finger
that's how just similar that is to playing claw hammer overhand. Um, so yeah, you just, you know, you start out practicing if you want to do two finger. I mean, if you want to do um, index lead, you can. I don't do it very much, so I'm going to mess up. If I'm going to do index lead, I might as well just do up picking. But if I do thumb lead, so there's your, you know, two finger and then up pick. do a C chord or a D7 chord because they're easy um yeah if, if you uh if this video helped you you know let me know and and uh, maybe I can do some more in the future for other songs I'm sure I'll get better at teaching them I, I know I left some stuff out um and again I won't take credit for learning you know for these songs you know obviously I know them I'm trying to teach them to other people but I learned them through other players and it's it's great to reference who you learn these songs from um, because it keeps the tradition alive because this is folk music um so like i said if you want to learn cripple creek sort of the way i played it uh, go to jim panky's page and uh look up uh, i believe it's cripple creek claw hammer it may be cripple creek claw hammer for bluegrass players or something like that and uh it's a really good lesson especially if you're a beginner and um obviously look up clifton hicks you know he's a great knowledge of 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 banjo history and heritage um his patreon is called banjo heritage and um he has great lessons on tons you know endless um old old songs from before recordings before time uh you know back before even this banjo was made um so yeah and uh if you liked it let me know and um happy picking